Have you ever wondered how our organs know when to stop growing? When they reach maturity? Might be no? Let's find out in this video. You know one of the amazing signaling pathway in our body that's called a hippo signaling pathway that keeps the organ size normal. Neither small nor big. And this pathway has God's name from hippoprotein kinase that mediates the pathway. And why this protein kinase is named hippo after the big animal? It is because the mutation in the gene which makes HPO protein or hippo protein causes the mitosis to become uncontrolled if there is a mutation in HPO gene and thereby the organ size becomes enormous and big structure like hippo. So it gets its name from here. And also we can see here the hippo signaling pathway is also called Salvador warts or hippo or simply SWH pathway because these all are the protein kinases that are involved in the pathway. And it's the cascade of protein kinases where one protein kinase is postulated by another protein kinase. And we already know it's the hippo protein kinase that mediates this pathway. And this hippo signaling pathway has been extensively studied in Drosophila but its orthologs have been found have been discovered in mammals too. So here we see it controls the organ size through different processes. Like we see it controls the organ size through cell proliferation when it regulates it through apoptosis. Controlling organ size means controlling mitosis because the organ grows all by mitosis. So here the hippo pathway halts mitosis by halting the production of cyclin proteins needed for mitosis stage. Now let's see the components of hippo signaling pathway. First of all we see Drosophila has got hippo protein kinase that's HPO protein kinase. And in case of mammals we have got MST1 or 2 and this is the orthologue in mammals that is the exact hippo protein gene with the same function that's why it's called orthologue. And then Drosophila has got SAV protein kinase and mammals have got WW45 protein kinase and Drosophila has got WTS that's Watts protein kinase and mammals has got LATS 1 or 2 protein kinase and Drosophila has got Yorkie protein kinase and in case of mammals mammals have got yes associated protein or YAP this is also sometimes TAZ protein and they are all nuclear protein kinases Yorkie and YAP. Hippo signaling can initiate via contact inhibition also but here we will see how ligand binding initiates this cascade. We see LPA molecule that's lysophosphatidic acid can act as a ligand and initiate the process. LPA molecule activates G protein coupled receptors which in turn activates Rho which is associated with GTPase. And this Rho protein via actin modulation activates hippo protein kinase finally. On the left side with pink sketch we will be describing the drosophila components and on the right side with green sketch we will be describing the mammalian components of pathway. Then this HPO that's hippoprotein kinase and MST protein kinase will bind and phosphorylate the SAV and WW45. After phosphorylating it this complex will phosphorylate the another protein kinase that's Watts protein kinase or LATS protein kinase if we talk about mammals. Then this WTS or LATS protein kinase gets into the nucleus. So after it gets into the nucleus, it deactivates some transcriptional unit. That's Yorkie protein kinase and YAP protein kinase. Yorkie in case of Drosophila, YAP in case of mammals. Yes, associated protein. So this is the active component present in the nucleus that drives transcription of certain genes. But when it receives WTS or LATS, it gets phosphorylated which is the inactive form of Yorkie or YAP protein kinase. This Yorkie or YAP protein kinase in nucleus is a transcription coactivator. That means it activates some transcription units to drive transcription of certain genes. Like it regulates the transcription of cyclin E genes, DIAP genes that is death associated inhibitor of apoptosis. The cyclin E component is one of the most important components of cell cycle as it drives cell from G1 phase to S phase. So when this Yorkie or YAP becomes inactive, that is transcription coactivator becomes inactive, there is no transcription of cyclin E genes or DIAP 
genes when there is no transcription of cyclin E genes the mitosis will be halted because the cell will not grow from G1 phase to S phase the mitosis will be halted so we can say it's a halt or stop signal so this is how the organ size is controlled when it reaches the maturity this was all about hippo signaling pathway i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks